Tommy makes his 18th start. He's 9-3 and three and a brilliant ERA of 283 in his rookie season. Tons of strikeouts against walks, and he's pitched really well here at Turner Field this season. 6-1 and one with an ERA of 342. Over the mound, charging at second, Omar Fonte, and has to fire quickly. Good play, one out. In the early stages of a major league career. How about that hook? Pretty good. That's Two a good outs. question, Chip. I'm not sure how. Over a 1,000 injury games missed by this Mets ball club. But speaking of missing, the Mets aren't hitting Tommy Hansen's breaking ball in a very impressive top half of our first inning here in Atlanta. 28 years old, 6'2", 195, out of Northbrook. There's that Brook there. Yeah. Northbrook, Illinois, originally with the Giants. Mets got him off waivers midsummer. 18 games overall. Bouncing ball hit toward short. Anderson Hernandez makes the play. And a pop up off the bat of Prado to David Wright on the left side of the Mets infield. New York Met rotation. Or the uh, San Francisco Giant rotation as that ball olated short by Hernandez. And Matty Diaz aboard with the first hit of the game for Atlanta. 3 2 pitch. Diaz runs and McCann lines it over short. Clean hit. Over quickly, Sullivan, but not fast enough to keep the Braves from first and third with two outs. You know Escobar. As this ball fisted, and that's a fair ball knocked down by Murphy at first. Pitcher and Dwayne Kuyper, former major league player. Breaking ball, whack towards second. Four up, four down for Hanson, who said this team's pitching. And a broken bat liner will trickle down the right field line off the bat of Danny Murphy. And he is on his way to second, where he'll stand with a one-out double. There goes the no-hit bid by Tommy Hansen. Murphy aboard. But hasn't affected him at the plate. Live fastball, though. Blows him right away at 94 and humming. And four straight. Puts the catcher aboard. At least first time through the order because they haven't seen him. Oh. The old get off me ball. Yeah. Wow. Line to right field, but Frenchie makes the running catch. 20 players on the DL at one time or the other. As that ball is launched deep to right field, and Adam LaRoche leaves the yard. Got a cookie on 3 1, and he didn't miss it. up again. Oh, fastball, just a high 3 1 fastball. He leveled off on 24th. Line in the left. Braves already have four hits in this game. And indeed, they are mashing Mish in the first inning and a third tonight. Down a bunt. He does not yet have a sacrifice bunt this year. But he does now. Runner to second with two outs. As Bobby keeps saying, Matt Diaz repeated it. As long as you're not mathematically eliminated, let a couple of his leads get away. Inside corner, that's his fifth strikeout in the game, and a good start to the New York third. Line toward left, Garrett Anderson chug it on and makes the catch. A sliding catch by Garrett Anderson in left. He'll replace the divot, and he'll get another look for the second out. Wow, what a play. Counts for Corey Sullivan. And he rolls to first baseman Adam LaRoche. Hansen does his job, and he breezes through the top of the third. Glad to whatever term you want to use for the Braves ball club. As that ball skied to center, and Beltron back up a couple of steps. Have to be, given the way he's played. Diaz hit on the toe. That's for sure. 
fisted toward left. Sullivan got a good jump. And let's face it, the economy being what it is, I think that's going to be one of the most interesting. So Had a hard time, some of them finding jobs. Up the middle, nice pick by Castillo. And that retires Yudel Escobar and ends the Atlanta third. Big league win tonight. He leads by a run. He has struck out five men, has issued one walk. And David Wright on the very first pitch. And easy hey. roller to short. One man down. Wow. Instead, they win the series. He stays, and the rest, they say, is history as he draws a one out walk. The year before that, 140, and then his first year in New York, 151. Double play ball. There's one. Escobar's arm takes care of the rest. Line into left center field. That'll get down in front of Beltron, and that ball skipped on him. Anderson's going to try for two. Throw cut off and late. He was sniffing double out of the batter's box. His 23rd National League home run this year made it 1 0. Beltron miss, read that ball. That's over his head. Anderson around third. Relay throw on the way to the plate and late. Line into center field, base hit. One hop bounce to Beltron. And the Braves have him at the corners with nobody out. Three straight Braves hits. Help but affect the way the Mets go about their business as the bunt is beautifully dropped down. Runner to second, first out. Hansen, two sacrifices in this game, now seven for the year. It could be coming here. Line drive center field. That'll turn to goal. That'll score LaRoche. Infante gets the green light. McClough indeed does the job. Three run inning for Atlanta and a four run Atlanta lead. You talk about shocking turns of events. That game against Ryder is one of them. And uh, McClough picked off by Mish. One, three, and six is the second out in the fourth inning. Carpenter, 0 2. And driven to right. Jeff Francoeur at the edge of the warning track. Struck out Francoeur's first time he faced him. Now gets him to pop up a breaking ball. Shallow center. Out goes Infante. And he's there. He's nearly a 300 career hitter in the minor leagues. There he is, but it wasn't enough. Strike out strikeout for Hansen. The catcher, Quintero. So you'd have Wandy leading off, just like he did right here. Or you force the manager to make a move and burn a couple of players, and Hanson indeed a one, two, three, top half. Whether Chipper plays or not. Driven deep to right field, long run, Fran Coor, and he gets there. Good play. Sense in terms of what he's doing or a play he made. And, and a great difference in him. Another fly ball well hit to right. Look at that thing carry out toward the fence where Francoeur makes the play. Worrisome for them. And strike three, a slow curveball over the outside corner, his seventh. And Castillo coaxes a walk. That's the third of this game. Fisted into shallow right. Listen to Matt Diaz take over out there. Good play. Two outs. I can hear. Oh. Unbelievably good breaking stuff from Tommy Hansen. And what is the hitter? He's homered. He's doubled. He scored twice. He's not in two. And he unloads again. Right center field. Belted. And gone, baby. Gone. Five nothing. RBIs. This time it's a low fastball, and he drives it to right center. And even though the wind's blowing in from there, as we've been talking about, Chip ball's carrying a little bit. After that rain earlier, there's a lot of nitrogen in the air. And another hit.
first. Now Tommy Hansen will try to make it a three sacrifice game. Tommy. And he's done it absolutely beautifully. Runner to second, one out. Boy, it's been his night. Fly ball right center field. Pretty well hit, but it's playable. It'll be Beltron taking over. Tagging from second is Omar Infante, and he'll make it without a throw. Liner to right center field. Can Fran Cor get that? Yes, he can. The ball tailed right at him. We'll start things off with Carlos Beltran in that seventh. And one pitch. One out. Boy, that's happened a lot, too. They don't want to get to two strikes with Tommy no. Hansen's breaking stuff, do they? Line drive by Murphy into left center field. A clean hit. And he'll throw out an anchor at first base. That's the second hit, and he's got both of them. Fly ball golfed into center field. McClough is under it. The Jeff. Braves know LaRoche probably better than anybody else in baseball. He is the batter hitting 400. His young start, and he lines up all to left in front of Garrett Anderson. And two are on. Ground ball hit towards short. And LaRoche with the stretch retires the side. Mets. Right back to Elmer descends. Good play one out. Come on, Mac. And be cognizant of the number of innings he's pitched. And this is first full major league season. At five straight. And that ends with a base hit to right field by Escobar. His first hit of the night. Are they allowed to sit that close? Yeah, I, I think they probably have security up there separating those two. <laughs> Garrett Anderson is greeted by Broadway Ken Takahashi. And one pitch, one out, takes care of Atlanta. It's taken him a long time to get his stroke anywhere close to big league ready. And even so, still hitting just 226. And it'll drop a couple of points as he pops out to first. Moylan, ridiculous in how good he's been. A little looper for Castillo puts him aboard with an out. The heavy workload. Those numbers would seem to indicate they do. There's one at second, and that's all they'll get. Gonzalez never got to the first base bag. To the plate from. And now a walk has runners first and second in the eighth inning. They're in their pen. And Beltron, a little squiver out towards second, and that takes care of the New York Mets. See Anna Maroche hit another rocket. This one into the corner on one hop. Anna Maroche has a four hit game tonight. Got 12 total bases. And that ball was dancing. On, one out. That ball cracked into center field. It chases Beltron back. Three steps shy of the warning track. Tagging from second, moving up. 90 feet is Adam LaRoche. So Ryan Church advances a runner. Kyle Backer hit hard. Like that. Uh -huh. Over first. Broken bat, but it scores the sixth Atlanta run. McClouth on his way to second. Fran Coors throw is up the up the line or up off target at and chops to short. In between hop handled by Hernandez. And that retires. And extremely effective. One pitch, and and I might need Hal Galima to look this up for me. We have time; it doesn't look like we will. Two pitches, two outs. Church handles that. Ninety-five at bats this year against left-handed hitters. Only one home run, and I. Round ball to short. Escobar, good range, and good night, New York Braves. Shut him out. Boy, from stem to stern, this one decided by outstanding pitching. Tommy Hansen and the Braves pen hold the Mets to only four hits. Huge night for Adam LaRoche, who was perfect at the plate. And the streak reaches five. And game one goes Atlanta's way. Six-nothing is your score.